Oh, can I help you? Wong Ting Sun sent us. Wong Ting Sun? That's odd. But we've never met as far as I know. Wonder why. That's strange. What's the name? From Wong Ting Sun. Oh, Wong Ting Sun. He sent some men with him. They say they want to see farther. Don't know what they want. Never mind that. Just let them in. We can't just leave them standing on the doorstep. Ask them to come in. Sure. Come in. Congratulations, Mr. Lung. Ah, that's not him. My master's busy right now. But this is Mr. Ko. Maybe you would like to talk to him. Oh, yeah. You men both working for Wang Tin Sun? Yes. And our master has sent this. It's just a birthday present for Mr. Lung. Ah, oh, well, thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Oh, our master asked us to make sure that Mr. Lung got the letter. Right. Well, thanks a lot. And don't you worry. I'll take it straight into him. You mean to tell me that over a little thing like this, you're willing to start a dispute here? The fuss, problems, and all that it brings? You've got to be kidding. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> well... Uh, well, as a birthday present for me, Let's reach some agreement. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, Uncle, we really just came here to wish you well. Uh, but we did talk. All right. I know that. Well, now then, I've had the opportunity to read the deeds. <laughs> now, let's have a look at this. Uh, well, let me make a suggestion to you both. The land runs along the family's borders. So to let this become a problem doesn't make any sense. Simply take one half each, the half that adjoins your property, and then you can both do your own thing. Well, what do you think? Uh, good. That's a good idea. And you? Uh, of course. Anything you say. Uh, well, as you seem to find my advice agreeable, then perhaps you may allow me to say one more thing. Avoid disputes, because nobody wins. There's nothing better than having a friendly neighbor. Now go on down and have a drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Who sent this present, then? Uh, Wang Ting Sun. Hmm. Seems he's found a new champion. And he's backing him with big money. But he wants no trouble from Chen Si. Wants you to tell him. Now I know why Chen Si hasn't come back home. Ah! <laughs> 
injured. Where's Kun? Where's he gone? Oh, it's your father's birthday. Have you forgotten? Kun's gone to the party. Well, you had a tough time. <laughs> Well, here you are. Small present from Mr. Wong. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. We better invite them to a meal and also send them my thanks. And see if you can find young Chen Si. He should be here now. Hmm. Mr. Oh. Ka, Granddad, come have your picture taken. Oh. <laughs> Guess what? A man's back. Oh? You mean he's actually arrived here? All the way back from Europe. And what's more, he's brought a farm girl with him. Huh? Sort of thing he would do. Happy birthday. Now, I'll introduce my father. Father, good to see you. Let me introduce my friend Christine. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, move on in, folks, and all look this way, eh, please? That seat there should be reserved for young Chen Xi. Where is he? Where is he? He'll be here. Hmm. Well, then we shall wait till he comes. Could you tell us the rules? Why, of course! It'll be freestyle. There'll be no holes barred at all. In fact, I promise you, lots of blood. I think these guys will tear each other apart. So then, please give this maximum coverage in the newspapers so only the best fighters apply. Uh, could you tell us something about your champion, a bit of his background? Well, his name is Yang, but that's all. Can't tell you more. Anything else is confidential. How are the ticket sales going for the fight itself? Huh? All the tickets were sold out more than three days ago. In fact, we already have a tour planned to Southeast Asia. If that goes well, then on to Europe. Now tell me, what if your man gets beaten? What then? Listen, that simply isn't possible. However, I may as well answer that. The winner would get a very valuable silver cup. What's more, there's a cash prize, 50,000 bucks, from Mr. Wong. Ah, uh, well, gentlemen, in fact, we've had a good turnout here, a real, a real success. Uh, thanks a lot. And now I'd like to say something else. Gentlemen, tonight, let's have a feast. Be my guest. Mr. Wong, hold it. Unfortunately, tomorrow night I'll be busy. So then, as I'm here right now, I'd like to try this fellow Yang out. So just hang around. You'll have a really good story to print. Long Chen Si wags the floor with a champion. send that present to his father. It was delivered there this afternoon. Idiot! Here! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
That young idiot's heading for trouble. That young kid hasn't a prayer. That's not the point. He just wants to show me up. Listen, and remember, if you should ever meet up with a really big fight, keep hitting just below the heart. It's often a weak spot. If you can hit them often enough there, eventually they're going to have to go down. I won, so I'll take the cup. Forget the cash, keep it. Just regard it as a tip from me. Right, let's go to the party. Yeah, right, 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 come on. Listen, what now, huh? He's ruined every damn thing. Mr. Wong, will the counter still be open now, or will you cancel it? Cancel. Yen San? Yeah, it's all off. Cancel the stadium booking and refund all the money. Sir. Mr. Wong, Mr. Long thanks you for the gift and sends you a gift in return. And he hopes to see you sometime. Take it back. Well... <laughs> that damn kid. Mr. Wong. I said take it back. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wong. All right. I'll lend you the money. Write a note. Oh, thank you. Uh, 
Thank you, Uncle. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Now, you, sir, give Mr. Wong a drink downstairs. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, sister. Uh, just hang on. Yes? Sister, uh, you destroy this. But look. Tell him if he gambles again, I'll break his hands. And then he'll never ever hold a deck of cards again. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Thank you. Oh, you. It's time for the picture now. If Chen Si's not back yet, well, that's too bad. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lung, they're all waiting, huh? <laughs> Chu Yang, come on then. <laughs> Good Move on over. Let's Chen C seat. Yes, he did come. Hey, hey Father, Ma, Anand, you're back then. I knew that he'd come. Father, got you a nice silver cup as a present. <laughs> Where's this from? <laughs> Wang Tin Sun put up a challenger, a big guy. I took him on and really knocked the hell out of him. You little idiot. Why do you interfere there? Mind your damn business! Idiot! You go and tell the master. Inspector Chen's right. here. Inspector. Lo you? Where's the old man? Losing his temper. Oh? Why's that? Chen C, of course. Please, come in. Inspector Chen? Fetch him. Sir. Inspector, please come in. Ah, please. <laughs> ah, there you are. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, listen, now you're here, you can come and sit with us, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, these photographs are strictly family, and I'm not. Now sit down here. Go ahead, sit down. Enjoy yourself. Oh, sit, you. sit. I'll just stand back here. Hello. Inspector, Hello. Inspector. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Long, come on, let's have a smile. I mean, it's a great event, isn't it? He's 70 years of age this year. That's old. He's a big shot. Got class, position in society, done very well. But doesn't he realize I got my position too? Huh? Why are you standing? Take a seat. Well, now tonight, don't mess it up. Do a clean job. Well, what do you all expect? I shall be jumping for joy. 
I've worked like a dog for the whole of my life. But also you can live comfortably. And now I've reached 70. I'm still carrying you. This is supposed to be a great day. I just wish to God I hadn't woken up. All right. I think that we've all got the point now, dear. And everybody's tired now. So then, let's all get to bed. Not yet. It is enough when I have them all together like this. So I want to make damn sure they'll understand. Father, I'll talk to them. I promise. Hmm. You're too damn nice. Just take a look at your own wife and kids and see what I mean. What am I supposed to have done now? You know damn well what I mean. Well, all right, I don't mind all of your mahjong. But still, somebody should be looking after my grandchildren. I mean, nobody needs the money. We've got enough. So get this. Cut down on your gambling. <sighs> Chetsy, Mr. Wong Tin's son is none of your business, so leave him alone. And what have you got against him? Wang Tin's son is running drugs and prostitutes. He needs to be clobbered. And anyway, he cheated me once. He cheated you? When was that? It's all right. I paid him back. Good. You got guts. You'll need them. I'm telling you, Mr. Wang Tin's son doesn't forget. Well, what can he do then? <sighs> My God, what do you know? You mind your own business. Concentrate on being a girl. So that someone will marry you. Hmm. Ma, I'm tired. Well, go on to bed then. Get yourself to sleep. Right, I'll go to the hotel. Huh? Why aren't you staying here? What is this? My friend's waiting. Who? Christine. Huh? You're living with that girl? Uh, well, we do intend to get married. Married? Who said you could? Dad, this is my business. You're getting married? Without even asking me? In that case, you may as well get out of here now. I know one thing for sure. This traveling hasn't done you any good. Now look, don't get worked up. It won't do me any good. Chenan, go on. Ha, huh. tell me. Why'd you ask me to come back here anyway? It wasn't my idea. Get the hell out! <sighs> Just let him go. Come on, now stop that. You're still on at those awful drugs. Tenen! I can. Yeah? Bring the car around here. Well, there's no need. Listen, I'll take it. Listen, is this yours? Yeah. Lend it to me. All right. Listen, give me a call, huh? Sure, I'll be in touch tomorrow. Ma, let's go. Oh, hello? Is Chen Nan still there? No, he just left. He said. He was going to his hotel. Oh, thank you. Okay, he's coming. Okay. Come on. Uh, right, come on.
You crazy? Ten pay. What's all this foreign stuff? Why don't you practice the Chinese boxing styles? Father, it's no use knowing that stuff. If you're up against a fellow with a big knife, your old style is useless. That's crap. We don't practice to be good fighters. It's simply for your health. Father, you're making a mistake. There's always guys who want to fight. Listen, the most important thing is endurance. That's why I do this stuff. It's good. Held stamina. And where did you read that theory? Husband! Husband! Come here quickly! What's wrong? Nan was beaten up. Huh? Is he okay? He's in the hospital now. That's all I know. It's Chen Nan. He's been hurt. Go on. Oh. Bing Chen, go change your clothes and come with me. Tell me, who do you think was behind the attack? Huh? You mean that it was planned? You've only got one enemy. Though why should Wang want to hurt him? After all, he never met him. Uh. My God, when he went back, he was driving Chen Si's car. Get the car brought round. Oh, Nan, who was it? Don't know. But I know one thing. It was a mistake. They wanted Chen Si. Must have been Wang's men. Chen Si! How are you feeling? Dad, they really beat the crap out of me. 
that in? The doctor's out here. Oh. Listen, I didn't want the others to know. And I think I must tell you. Your son is hooked on drugs. He has all the symptoms, and we found some drugs in his clothes. I knew it. It's been many years. When I found out, I sent him to the university overseas. I guess he must have found a supply there. Ah, oh, listen. Can you help? Can you help him in here? Keep him in here until he's managed to break the habit? Uh, well, now, I must ask my boss. But still, carrying drugs is a criminal charge. Do it for my sake. Listen, the kid's here. Wants to see the boss. Tell him he's not here. I did tell him. It's no use. How many men we got? Oh, Eleven. Right. Throw him out. Sure. Now look, I told you he isn't here. But if you want, you can go outside the gate and wait from there. I'm certain he won't be too long. <laughs> At dinner. Hey, here you are. Thanks. Now look, tell that he's in hospital. And no matter what you feel, the matter is closed. I don't intend to blame anybody, but still. Remember this, nobody tries to get revenge or tries to go anywhere near Wong Tin's son. All right, let's eat. How the hell did it happen? Getting those two brothers mixed up, those stupid fools, and now I get my place busted up. Yin Seng. Lao Yen. Well, all right then. How did it happen, huh? 
Huh? Got no explanation? Look, boss, you can't blame us. That young kid's really good. Terrific. I know one man, a man he couldn't beat, the Japanese guy, Santing. Listen, but first, I'll see Chen Lan. We're old friends. Yes, of course. He used to do business with us. Hmm. Still hooked? I've got no idea, but still, I can soon find out. This time, let's have no slip-ups. really strange. Long and me finally locking horns. Surprise? Long time, huh? <laughs> Luli, what do you want here? Uh, well, old man, it's like this. I'm managing a nightclub now for Mr. Wong Tinson. Oh? Huh? My boss has sent me here to apologize for him. Tell me more. Uh, mistakes, mistakes. They easily happen. Mr. Wong knew that we used to be friends. So then... <laughs> What's wrong? Still on it. Uh, I thought you'd quit. You can afford it. Get out! Hey! Come on! Why are you punishing yourself? Come on, come on. <laughs> now come on! from Mr. Wong for you. When they're gone, I'll bring you some more. Good shot. Uh, Father. Uh, I didn't see you. Hmm. That's why you spent so much time down here. You got yourself a proper range. Hmm. Not bad. Quite well equipped. You know my views. I've always been against any sort of guns. Let me see. Where'd you get them? Uh, from my nan. Uh, him again. But surely you know the possession of arms is an offense. Just for self-defense. Nothing else. Self-defense? Well, what about our kung fu? Isn't that enough? Who needs guns? Father, things have changed now. No one's kung fu. Can stand up to a gun. Your kung fu is out of date. Huh? 
Who says so? Lots of people come to the East to learn Kung Fu. You say it's out of date. That's nonsense. Anyway, you spend all your time doing those stupid Western exercises. So what the hell can you know about Kung Fu? Nothing at all. From now, no more guns at all. And if I should see you with one again, then it's going to the police and you'll be going along with it. How are my grandchildren coming along with their studies now? Not bad, but they're way too much. hid this one. He really has a thing about guns. He hates them. Come on. All right, then. That's it. How's friends again? How's friends again? Now, come on, then. Next bet. Next bet, then. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Fifty over here. Yes, fifty. Why don't you go ahead? Sixty more. Come on. Sixty more down here for me. Okay? Right. Bet. Right. There you are. Let's see. Well, you got a hundred over here. Let's see. Fifty. Twenty-five. Now there's another hundred. I don't know. Over here. Pay me, sir. Nothing there. That's it. Set me up. And everybody lose. Count wins again. Right. Two thousand. Sure. Well, uh, well, 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 All right, then. Get over here. 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 Over Hey, why are you accusing the servants? You know who's taken the money, and it isn't the first time. I don't get it. How on earth can he spend so much? That's not the point, but he's starting to worry me. He's all right. He just doesn't like studying. Apart from this, he's no trouble. <sighs> and Wei Wei still isn't back yet. Aren't you worried? She's on a date. Is there anything wrong with that then? If she doesn't enjoy herself now, she's never going to enjoy herself. Just like you, huh? Is that what you mean? What's wrong? Can't sleep. Uh, no. Wei Wei isn't back yet. I'm getting worried. Yes, and it's after midnight. That's all right. She's always back late. She can always get some friend to drive her back home. Any idea where she's gone? She's probably at the same old nightclub. All right. Get your bag. Right. Hey, don't go. You haven't finished your drink yet. Don't want it wasted, eh? Drink. Drink! Hey, hey, hey. Now take it easy. Sure. No! <laughs> Drink up. Drink it up. Yeah. Wait, wait. You coming or not? Yes. I finished. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, a big fight there. Oh. Hey, hey, mister. You did a lot of damage here tonight. What are we going to tell the management, eh? Yeah. Come on. Right. Long Chancy. Hey, that young girl that was with them. Do you know who she is? As uh, they say, she's Old Long's granddaughter. The hall, the house, the nightclub, the lungs have wrecked them all. Hey, boss, let's give up, huh? Let's quit. Huh. I don't think they intended anything serious today. 
that Long must know who owns the club. Everybody in town knows that. So, boss, what do we do now? That damn kid's too much, a bastard. Tell me, why'd they go to the club? Long's granddaughter, she was there. She often comes in with friends for a drink. Long Chen Si tried to take her home. Then some guy tried to stop him doing it, and that started the fight. When will your Japanese arrive? He's just finishing a contract. He'll be here soon. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'll have Long Chen Nan taken out. Do you understand? Hey, boss. Do you mean that? Of course I do. As you'll see. <coughs> Welcome the whole household up. Father! Hey! You go and put some clothes on first. And just stop sniveling. I can't stand it. Gentlemen, what's going on? It's not his fault. I'm to blame. I, I, I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. You tell me. What have uh, you done? I... I... He's a thief! Stole money! He's not! My son isn't a thief! He couldn't! He's my you son! You just shut up! Uh, All right. Have you often stolen money, then? Uh, yes. You yes. spend it? Uh, I... Well, then. I gambled. Where were you gambling? Casino. You lousy little delinquent, you. Chantung, lock him in the basement. Father, you can't. He's still a little boy. You can't do that to him. I can't? I run this house. Don't forget that. You're too weak. You think you're being affectionate. It's just self-indulgence. Father! You shut up. Now see where your mahjong has got you. You've ruined your children. You're really useless. You're just not fit to look after children. You anything to say? <laughs> Chantong, come with me. Chen Nan better? He's been discharged. Well, why hasn't he come home? Says he doesn't want to. Says he wants to stay with his girlfriend. Hmm. Well, although she's only a foreigner, at least she is sticking with him. So tell Chen Nan I'd like him to marry her. They have my blessing. 
She ought to be good for him. Maybe too good. I'll talk to him. go back to the hospital. I'm sure they could help you quick. You can't go on like this. But where's Lo Lee? He said he'd come yesterday. You should stay away from him. You can't rely on a man like him. You're not doing any good here. Why don't you go back to Europe? Loli, why are you so late? Quick, hey! Christine. Christine. The family wanted to come, too, but I was too ashamed. I wouldn't let them. You've seen the papers yet? You've made all the headlines. Everyone in Hong Kong knows you. And do you believe what they say? I'm a killer? I know the facts. I think it's true. Dad. I'm innocent. The girl was the innocent one. How could you have done that? I thought so. The old prejudice. In fact, you've never liked me. Even as a young kid. How could you say such a thing? Speak. <sighs> How can you say that? When I've worked since I was 20 years old, just for you, 
so that you and the family could have something. But did you ever do anything for me? Not a damn thing. Inspector Chan told me. He says, you've been on drugs, your system's full of it. He reckons you've been taking them for years. You're denying it. Against my wishes, you went abroad to study. Instead of studying, you just loafed around. You just spent my money, nothing else. And do you deny that? Yeah. But when you do come home, you won't stay with us. You poison yourself with drugs, and then you kill your girlfriend. You've ruined our good name. Everybody knows about this. And you tell me I'm prejudiced. The years I was away, you used to send me money regularly, but never wrote once. I don't really think you know what a father should be. You started work when you were 20, I know, but now you're rich, at class. But do you ever think how you made money? And you truly say you never once did anything wrong? You ever have troubles? Need friends to help you out? Way you tell it, you never slip once. Dad, there's no harm in kidding the others. That's all right. <laughs> but not yourself. Chen Nan, you... It's all right. Let's not fight now. There's nothing to say. I mean, we all know it's my fault. Huh? You mean that fellow Lee deliberately framed you? Ah, but why did he have to kill poor Christine, though? <laughs> if you're really innocent, then I shall move heaven and earth to get you off. But still, before you get out of this jail, you've got to kick the drug habit. I tell you, I'm not going to have an addict in the house. And that's not just a prejudice. Dad, go on home. I've made inquiries with everyone, and they're all agreed it was fixed just to frame Chen Nan. It was done to ruin us, to disgrace a long name. And it's quite clear that Lee was the man who arranged it. And behind Lee is Wang Tin San. Well, who is this Lee? Oh, he works for Wang Tin San. Oh. <sighs> well, it's obvious. It's Wang Tin's son, and it's the sort of thing he would do. So he framed Chen Nan. But that was only possible because Chen Nan was taking drugs. Otherwise, Lee could never have touched him, that little rat. So then let's take care. Keep our hands clean. Do nothing dirty. Not be pushed into doing something rash. Long as we all do that, then there's nobody can harm us. So then, we've all got to stay calm. We have to believe in the law, the rules of justice. Because if we don't believe in justice, we're no better than Wang.
who killed me. You know him? I don't know what his name is. But still, I saw him just once. They came to the club. He came in with Long Chun Si. Tell me now. Did you tell the police that you knew the man? Why, no. I didn't dare. I mean, I want no trouble. We had a cable from that Jap. He's ready. He'll arrive soon. Hmm. Do we know when? In three days, so he says. Pass the word out. I want to talk to all the men. Sure. Hmm. After all, we must avenge our poor friend Lena. place last night. Oh, you haven't. Oh, thank you. Hello? Oh, that's right. It's me. Oh, I see. Thank you. Fifty thousand eight hundred. Mm. Oh. Oh. Cheng Tung. What's wrong? Something happened? You look quite pale. Wei Wei went out last night and she didn't come back. I don't know where she is. But you have no idea where she went? Well, as far as I know, to a cinema. Which one? I don't know. Call the police. No, not just yet. Let's tell your father. No, no. Wait, wait. Always hangs around with bums. If we call the cops, they may find her. And she might be shacked up with some of her friends. And in that case, we'd lose face. Right. And your father's not too well. Let's not tell him. We'll look for him ourselves. <laughs> the others? They're not back, but they called in. There's nothing at all. Oh, my God. Where could she be now? I'm so worried.
Hey, come here, quick. Right, Wonder let's take it. it in. Come on. Hey. Get scissors. Sir, help me. Get some clubs. All right, get out of here. Want killed one of my men last night and wounded four others seriously. I should have called the cops, but I respect your name and I don't want to disgrace you. Nevertheless, we must settle this. 
Therefore, I want you and your men to come to my school as soon as possible. I promise there will be no tricks, that is, if you play fair too. I hope that you'll be able to come, Wong Tin Sun. A challenge. It's for Wong Ting Sun. He says he wants to settle all this. You gone to go? No, I won't go. It's against the law. And we use our Kung Fu only as a physical discipline. It's to keep our bodies healthy. It's not to fight our fellow men. We are not going to start a permanent feud here with the Wang family that drags on for years. Do you understand? No! No, 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 that man Wong is a murderer. He wants to kill us, and he's not going to stop trying. All right. So he is a criminal. Let the law take him. The law? What is the law here? The law is in our hearts, and that's where it should be in all of us. What else can I say? <laughs> You had better dress those injuries and get a doctor. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop that. Look, ho. Take him to hospital. Right. Come on. Take him. Yeah. 
It's too bad. He's attacked again. These hooded hooldums, they strike in broad daylight. They are far too cocky. Officer Rao. Yes, sire. I know you've been searching for these villains, but I'm afraid they have outmaneuvered us so far. Yes, sir. Hmm? My lord, these hooded hoodlums are unpredictable. They're very wily fellows. Hmm. Sire, we're up against fierce and evil competition, so I have taken the liberty of seeking assistance from Charlie Fang and Cherry Pie. They're sworn friends of mine and are both skilled martial artists. They will surely help us solve this problem. Right. Sounds good. Where are they? They're on their way, my lord. They'll be here soon. Magic book. Hmm. We're the deadly duo. Get out of our way. <laughs> the evil witch of Yuan is dead. You're no longer in control, so hand it over. You listen. The magic book can only be understood by women. Huh. I don't care about your opinion. The magic book is going to be mine. And that's that. <laughs> if you don't obey me, I'll send you both to hell. Cherry, we're dealing with a peasant. You'll have to take it from us. Right. You just signed your own death warrant. Don't blame me.
quickly. I'm okay. <laughs> Championship. Swear to God, I'll kill you all! Let's go, let's get out of here! Hey, 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 you can't stay here, lady. It's just not possible. Now, look at it my way. I've never seen you before. You could be a hooded hoodlum. I've got the money and I need a place to stay. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, uh. Madam, it's nothing personal, but I dare not accommodate you. We've had so much trouble with the hooded hoodlums. The people are terrified of strangers in town. Uh, they'd lynch us if we allowed you to stay here. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Uh, Milady, are you passing through or planning to stay? We're here to see Officer Lau. Oh. Uh, come on now, dear. Uh, Don't worry. Let's just give them a room for the night, huh? <laughs> it's the best hotel with the best food. You can't deny that. Now deal with the man, and I'll go and find Officer Lau. Uh, you're full of impractical ideas. I don't see how you could be a matchmaker. Uh, um. King's representative, oh. stand aside. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Lee, nobody knows anything about these two. They could be troublemakers. I dare not serve them. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lee, they're asking to see Officer Lau. Uh, 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 
Uh, are you Miss Pie? And is that Mr. Feng? That's right. I'm Cherry Pie. I'm delighted you're here. Innkeeper, yes. give him the best room and also the best uh, service. Yes, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> please call me Mr. Lee. I'm at your service, madam. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Now, please go in and relax. I'll tell Officer Lau you're here. <laughs> Mind out, now, excuse us. Out. We got a sick man here. Mind, here we go. Come on. This way, sir. You'll be just fine. Innkeeper, Officer Lau is here. Officer Lau, the two people are in the best room, sir. Please. Miss Pye, Officer Lyle's here to see you. Miss Pye. Swarm brother. Huh? And him? He? Uh, let's talk inside. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Dr. Chan. Huh? Yes. Miss Pye, who did this to him? The hooded hoodlums. What? Those hooded hoodlums again? You and Mr. Feng come here at my request, yet before you arrive, you're attacked by the very gang you're here to destroy. Swan, brother, Charlie will recover soon, and we're both eager to get started. Please tell me what it is you want us to do. Right. Yeah. Officer Lau. Mr. Fung isn't badly hurt. He has the wound, a slight fever, and a mild concussion. I'll prepare him some medicine and he'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Pye. Uh, Miss Pye! Uh, uh, <laughs> it won't keep you long. Right. Uh, Miss Pye. Your travelling companion, is he any better? Uh, he's much better, thank you. And please forgive me for being so rude. Oh. It's Officer Lau that made me do it. He's so angry about the hooded hoodlums. It makes him a regular tyrant. They keep outwitting him, you see. If I'd gone against his instructions and given you a room, well, dear, it doesn't bear thinking about. Anyway, I'm sorry, Miss Pye. <laughs> Madam Lin, please don't worry about it. Neither of us minds. Hey, matchmaker, who's employing you, then? <laughs> I'm not matchmaking, you old devil. I'm too interested in the hooded hoodlums to be bothered. <laughs> anyway, there's no money in matchmaking anymore. It's too much trouble finding out what people really want. Miss <laughs> Pye, wouldn't you agree with me? <laughs> oh, Miss Pye. Uh, uh, here's your medicine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cheng, you under a spell? Oh, Madam Lin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Cheng, you came for medicine? Yes, my mother's not well again today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cheng, hmm? that girl, do you think she's pretty? That Miss Pie, huh? She's Miss Pie. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, you were talking away with her. How come you don't know her name? <laughs> <laughs> you need a bit of matchmaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't do. She has a young man already. Oh. Don't believe me? Go and see. She and her companion are staying together at the Lucky Inn. Uh, Madam Lin, perhaps you'd better be my matchmaker. <laughs> Mr. Cheng, I could see she was really attracted to you. <laughs> but I'm only joking. Oh, are Not you serious. sure? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cheng, I wouldn't matchmake for her. She's a martial artist. Oh. I mean, we'd have to 
kill Mr. Fang to get her. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mr. Cheng. Mr. Cheng, here's your drug. Oh. Mm. Madam Lin, mm. I insist that you be my matchmaker. <laughs> Mr. Cheng, don't take it so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Some noodles, lady. Some noodles. Uh, yes, why not? M Madam yeah. Lin, mm. you won't be my matchmaker then. Oh, Mr. Cheng, a joke's a joke, but really, if you go on like this, you'll get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Me killed? <laughs> Madam Lin, uh, I was only joking. Uh. <laughs> Charlie, are you okay? Go and get me a doctor, quick, hurry up. Give me the magic book. What's happened? Uh, wait, uh, we must uh, tell uh, Officer Lau. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sir, uh, Master, there's been a murder on the hill. Two people have been killed. Come quickly, sir. Yes. Take her down. Is it? Come on, man. Gently. Gently. That's it. Stand back. Stand back. Your Excellency, both the deceased were visiting our town and staying at the Lucky Inn. The man was already sick and was then stabbed, and the lady was hanged, sir. Your Excellency, in order to rid us of the hooded hoodlums, I asked Miss Pai and Mr. Feng to help us. They were murdered under our care. I asked Mr. Lee to bring forward witnesses. Call the witnesses. The witnesses! Your, Your Excellency, Excellency, the witnesses! The witnesses. Lieutenant Chow, 
Yes, Your Excellency. Did Mr. Feng and Miss Pai stay at your inn? Yes, sir. I put it to you that you murdered them for their money. Uh, Your Excellency, I did not. I refused to serve them. Madam Lin can testify to that. Uh, and the man was wounded, so we sent for Dr. Chan. Dr. Chan, is Mr. Chow telling the truth to the court? Uh, yes, he is, sir. It happened like that. Madam Lin, do you agree? Yes, sir. Everything they say is true. <laughs> Mr. Ho, when did you last see the deceased? Your Excellency, Miss Pai had been into my shop to get some medicine for Mr. Feng. However... However what? Speak up. Uh, Madam Lin and Mr. Chang were having a discussion. Mm. Mr. Chang? Your Excellency. Mr. Chang is champion Chang. Ah. What were they discussing? Uh, ask Madam Lin. She can tell you. Madam Lin? Uh, Tommy! Oh, I, I... I have nothing to tell you. What's that? Uh, uh, Your Excellency, I wasn't listening carefully, but it was something about killing Mr. Fang and matchmaking. Mr. Chang had taken a shine to Miss Pai, you see. Hmm. Madam Lin, is that true? Uh, Your Excellency, it was just a joke. It wasn't funny. They're both dead as a result. Uh. Your Excellency, Mr. Feng and Miss Pai were brilliant fighters. So I ask, other than Champion Cheng, who is there in this town with skill enough to kill them? Sir, it must have been Mr. Cheng's plan to kill Mr. Feng and marry Miss Pai, Your Excellency. Mom, you still got your car. You must get some rest. Uh, my son, huh? what happened? I notice your clothes are all stained with blood. Uh, uh, <laughs> Answer me. You're always up to something. Mom, it wasn't me who started it. I can't stand unfairness. It was the hooded hoodlums. They were attacking. I... I had to act on my principles. My son, you know I'm not scolding you. But you could make enemies like that. <sighs> it's never easy to live by principles. You remember your father? He was such a man. He died rescuing a poor victim. Yes, I remember. Mm. <laughs> Your Excellency, there's no need to postpone the execution. I'm quite sure Cheng is guilty. Hmm. Officer Lau. Yes, sir. Arrest Champion Cheng. Yes, sir. Your Excellency. Your Excellency! What is Your, it? Your what Excellency! Is it? Your Excellency! Uh, on my honor, the bodies have disappeared! Huh? Ah, it's impossible. Who could do such a thing? Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, where are they? Well, they were here a minute ago. How could they disappear? Huh? Huh? Oh! Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. It's you, Ryan. Your Excellency, I saw it with my own eyes, Your Excellency. The man turned into a pool of wee wee, and the girl, she disappeared. Idiot! You neglected your duties, and so you shall be severely punished. Guards! Oh, yes, sir. Give him 40 lashes. Yes, sir. Oh, no, please. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh, no, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> I didn't know what you doing. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 no,
Your Excellency, in Madame Lin's house, we found a blood-stained prescription. Officer Lau, at your service. Bring Champion Chang here. Yes, sir. Come on. I haven't done anything wrong, so why are you here? You can't arrest me. Huh. You killed an innocent man just so you could take his wife for yourself. What are you talking about? Chain him. Yes. yes. <laughs> How dare you resist the king's end? Get him! Get him! Come on! My son, put those swords down. Oh. Officer Lau, what's going on in here? The governor is trying a murder case. Your son is connected with it. So we've come to take him to court, but he's resisting us. Oh. Officer Lau, my son is a most law-abiding citizen. There must be some mistake. He'd never do anything illegal. I think possibly... Mrs. Cheng, <laughs> I'm under orders from the governor. I have to take your son. It's my unfortunate duty. This is your last chance. Get your rival out of here. <coughs> my son, don't be so rude. These are the king's men. You must do as they say, or you'll get into worse trouble. Thank you, Mrs. Cheng. I must take him now. Champion, give them their weapons back. Oh. All right. Go ahead. Your Excellency. We have Champion Cheng with us. Mr. Cheng, do you have anything to say? I'm innocent. Rubbish! Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth, Your Excellency. I've done nothing wrong. Do you recognize him? Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ho. Cheng, I thought I heard Madame Lin asking you to kill Mrs. Fang and that she'd be the matchmaker for you. Your Excellency. But that was just a joke. What's that? Both of these people involved in the conversation are now dead. Is that a joke? Excellency, why don't you call Madame Lin here? Mr. Chang, you're too clever. Here, take a look at this. It's a prescription for my mother. Since you recognize it, what excuse do you offer for murdering Madame Lin? Huh? What excuse do I offer? What do you mean? Champion Chang, I suggest that you became obsessed by Miss Pai and planned to kill Mr. Fang, enabling you to ravish Miss Pai. That Madame Lin knew too much. Huh. So you decided to murder her as well. But you forgot Mr. Ho and the incriminating prescription. All right, then. The murder weapon. Do you have it as evidence? Your Excellency, get Officer Lau to search his house. Hmm. Officer Lau, search his house. Yes, Officer Lau, I beg you, leave us alone. Please don't go on. Please. Away, oh. woman. Oh. 
Search! 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 Oh, please don't. Please. Please. No. Officer Lau, I beg you. Officer Lau, I beg you. My son is innocent, I know it. Please give him a chance. Officer Lau. Hey, take a look at this. <gasps> Officer Lau, be merciful. He's done nothing wrong. I know I cannot repay you now, but I will in my next life, I promise. Hmm. Champion Chang, you raped a married woman, then hanged her. You slaughtered her husband, then murdered the main witness. I sentence you to death. Execute him. Stop fighting in court. Lock him up! Seize him! Yes, sir! Damn you idiots! Yes, get him. Come on. Wait a minute. Huh? Why? Don't listen to him. Get him. Chase him. Yes. All right. Come on. He can't run away. Think about it. Your Excellency, he can't escape. He's under our control. He's at our command. He's vulnerable to us. What's that? Explain yourself. <laughs> All we have to do is arrest his mother. Then he'll do anything we ask to give us no more trouble. <laughs> Mr. Chang, please, would you just start obeying orders? Please, are you angry with us? Oh, oh, oh. Read it. Champion! Champion! My son! Champion! Stop fighting! Mother! Champion, don't behave like this. Mother, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have got involved. Mother, please forgive me. This was just a trap for me. You'll put yourself into their hands and they'll never let you go. You'll be hounded from place to place for the rest of your life. I've got to get you out of here. They can deal with me, not with you. <sighs> yes, but you've got to keep calm. If you allow yourself to get too angry, they'll destroy you, my son. I'm old and not worth the trouble. <sighs> Mother, I can't stand them doing this to you. I... I can't bear it. My son, please try to be strong. Don't get so angry. 
champion. Listen to your mother. Become champion. Remember your father. Live with honor. Mother, I will succeed. There he is. Oh. Over there. Don't just stand there gupping like some dummies. Tie him up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. Champion, remember what you said. Officer Lau, you've gone too far this time. How dare you involve my mother? My son. My son. Kneel down. I said kneel down. Kneel down! Your Excellency, I beg you to forgive my son's rudeness. We come from a noble family, and he would never commit any crimes. My son is most devoted to me. You see, I've been unwell recently, and he looked after me, and he didn't leave me. So now I beg your Excellency to please reconsider the case. Excellency, no need to listen to her. We have all the evidence we need. My suggestion is that we torture her first to make him confess. Huh? 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 Kneel down. Kneel down. I command you, kneel down. Your Excellency, please release my mother. Do what you want to me. You're prepared to confess, then? Release my mother. After that, I'll say anything you want. Right. My son. Mother. My son. My son. Mother. Mother. Husband, it's late now. I've brought you some lentil soup to drink before you sleep. You'd better go ahead, my dear. I'll be along after I've sorted these out. But it's cold in here. Leave it until tomorrow. There's nothing urgent. Ah, but it is really my duty to finish it. I am responsible for my people's welfare. Ah, you're really a conscientious governor. <laughs> you flatter me, my dear.
Guards! 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 Guards, come here! Everybody! Everybody, come here! Guards! Guards, come here! Your Majesty, what's up? Is that a ghost over there? Mr. Ho. What? What's that? He's a hooded hoodlum. Officer Lau. Yes. The hooded hoodlums have come back to town. The bankers are due here tomorrow. We must have more guards. Yes, sir. Of course. Your Excellency. Officer Lau, have you managed to find the hooded hoodlums yet? Your Excellency, we searched the whole town high and low, and there's no sign of anyone suspicious. We can't find them at all. What is this? Are they magicians as well as thieves? Your Excellency, we've got guards on all the roads, for three miles in all directions, and we've been unable to find any trace. Now, what are you planning to do about it? Husband. I was allowed to take a look. He seems extremely familiar with the temple. I order you to arrest him at once. Yes, sir.
<laughs> it's God. Oh, God. <laughs> How could I be God in a human body like this? I'm wise man Wu. Oh, master and savior. My son is in prison again. Will you please help him, master? Your son is a good man, Mrs. Cheng. He has worked very hard through many lifetimes, and he deserves success. Don't worry, I'll find a way to help him. Just look after yourself. I'll take care of your son. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Uh, 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 thank you, Master. Your Excellency, what is it? Something's fallen over there, what is it? <gasps> it's Mr. Lee! Ah. Ah. Ah, it's terrible, terrible. Hobbs allow. What does it mean? Your Excellency, he was obviously connected with the hooded hoodlums. I should have recognized it. Indeed you should. This man steals in here right under our noses. He might have killed us. Officer Lau, you have three days to solve the problem. Ask all our soldiers. Somebody must have seen something. I order you to find the hoodlum's leader or else you are fired. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Yes, Your Excellency. My love. Don't be scared. Darling, it's terribly unlucky to see ghosts. I'm worried about our future now. It wasn't ghosts. It was only the hooded hoodlums. Oh, husband, but it doesn't make any sense. You must have a traitor. Don't be cheeky. Well, I think I'm right, and I'm going to the temple to pray. Lee's medicinal compound, multi-purpose. Cures ringworm, paralysis, syphilis, and piles. Used by the emperor himself. Lee's medicinal compound. You only need two treatments. Complete success guaranteed. Lee's medicinal compound. Ladies, come in.
by ghosts back at the palace. Please tell us what we must do to get rid of them. The ghosts are the voices of the misjudged dead. Your king is a good and able man, but he has made some mistakes. I'll give you a clue as to how to deal with the situation. When seeking your enemy, look closely in your own ranks. See the one who claims innocence, who seems to be trying but fails. Mm, excellency, from reading this, I feel sure the leader of the hooded hoodlums is one of your advisers. The first two lines are... Mm. They prove that Champion Cheng is innocent, yes. Excellency. It's clear. The leader of the hoodlums is living within the palace walls. Well, if that's the case, why not release Champion Cheng from prison? It's unfair to keep him locked up. And anyway, <laughs> he might find the killer. <laughs> Your Majesty, excuse my unorthodox arrival. I'm delighted to see you however you choose to arrive, Master. I am an ancient Taoist master. One of the skills I have learnt over the centuries is seeing into the future. Even in my elevated position, I know about the hooded hoodlums, and one of my students, Champion Cheng, is involved. The situation is not being well handled, I regret to say, so I have decided to step in and help you sort things out. Master, I am humbly grateful for any help you offer. You may spare me the flattery. I seek only the truth. Thank you, Master. <laughs> All right, come on out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Move it. He is found not guilty. Release him. Yes, sir. Mr. Chang. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. Uh, truth will always find a way. We must thank the old master. Without him, I might never have seen you alive and free again. Mother. Well, everything's all right now. So please don't get upset. Yeah! 
that? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's oh. go inside. I won't let him escape. You imbeciles? How could you be so stupid? How could he get away? Is there a traitor among us? Leader. Shut up. Nobody's to talk unless I give them permission. All right, go ahead. Sir. Brother, it wasn't our fault. Somebody was helping him. We were helpless. Huh? Who? Who was it? Uh, it was a supernatural force. We couldn't get through it and it wouldn't help us. So we had to retreat. Hmm. So who was it playing ghosts? See who it is. Yes. All right. Lose no time. Carry out the plan. Yes, my lord. Excellency, the search brought no success. Your Majesty, it was a mission of failure. He could not find it. And why was that? Excellency, it was because you set free Champion Cheng. Who else is capable of all those crimes? Excellency, ever since you released Champion Cheng, it's just so happened that there's been a murder practically every day. It's no coincidence that you have released him. Your Excellency, I agree with him. It must be Champion Cheng. Officer Lao. Sire. Keep a closer watch on Mr. Cheng. Don't leave him unguarded at all. Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Mother? Mother? Mother! 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 Mother!
Listen, my brothers. There is something I have great pleasure in telling you. Firstly, I have completely mastered everything from the magic book. Nobody on earth can defeat me now. Secondly, we must kill Champion Chang immediately. Finally, as of today, we'll take off our masks and proclaim ourselves the Yuan Ying Gang. Congratulations, Master! <laughs> <laughs> so that's your plan, is it? Finally, I've caught you out. Huh? Ha! So this is your little band of fighters. All right. You're on your way to hell. What a familiar voice. My friend, yes, it is time to take off your mask. But it would be a pity if I did it for you. Huh. You're an arrogant bastard. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> playing the ghost, and me killing all your men. Mm. You she-devil. <laughs> Still alive? Right! Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. <laughs> 